girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another unit from the Janet Collection from their new Natural Me line. This unit is called Braid Lulu. I have Braid Lulu in the number two color. She does come with your typical cap construction with two combs here in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable straps. Combs are really close to the parting space, which I do not like. I really wish companies would stop doing that. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, y'all, let's just jump right in. When I first got this unit, I was like, what am I, <laughs> what am, who is walking out their house with this on their head like this? First of all, when I initially put it on, it wasn't fitting my head properly, in my opinion. It was a little too tight. I'm like, that's weird because the other natural me units fit fine. And I realized it was due to the way it was braided. It was just making the cap tighter. Second of all, the braid itself is just, just just not attractive. It's not flattering. I see that some companies really like doing like pre-braided styles. I really dislike them. <laughs> I can't express how much I don't like pre-braided styles. So I saw this and I was like, you know, I want to try it because it's new and maybe I can do something to it. Maybe I should just give it a chance. And you saw the way it looked when I put it on. Terrible, horrible. If you're familiar with Shining Star, she does a lot of wig reviews on YouTube. She did a lookbook for this collection and her reaction was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Star, I feel you to the nth degree because this is just not, this is not gonna happen. This is not gonna work. I was like, okay, I'm taking these braids out ASAP and we're gonna make it do what it do. The wig in its original state, I don't have really much good to say about it. Other than that, the texture actually felt softer than I anticipated. Joe to me was a little bit on the rougher side, like cankalonian hair, whereas this felt softer, maybe because it's straight, I don't know. But now that I've done my work to it, I can, you know, give give you a different assessment. So as far as pros, once I took the braid out, the cap went to its regular state. So I was like, okay, this cap is still medium head, maybe slightly big head friendly. I was like, okay, that's a good thing. I think the parting space came pretty nicely, so I didn't really have to do much to it. I added my pressed powder and I was good to go. The texture of the hair is definitely very yakky, very kinky, coarse hair. Like I said, it's softer than the Jode unit, in my opinion. Now, because I manipulated this hair a lot, I experienced a ton of shedding, a ton. <laughs> My garbage can is filled with hairs from blowing this wig out. Upon blowing it out, you know, I was I was worried that it would it would burn the hair, like what happened with Jode. But it actually uh, it actually took the heat better than I anticipated. The hair that was shedding, I'm sure those were hairs that were probably burning off. <laughs> but a lot of the hair still remained on the unit. This is a very thick unit. This is all the hair to the front. The density is is pretty pretty full. I'm putting my fingers through it right now and I'm still experiencing shedding and that's just probably gonna continue until it doesn't. So there's that. I like it a lot more now that I have blown it out. I think this is what Janet should have came out with originally versus that awful pre-braided style. That just wasn't no that style just was not a good look so this is definitely my speed and i'm sure a lot of you will agree with me another thing i noticed about this unit once you know it was all straightened you know the ends are very much i had to cut them a little bit and they're they're very blunt i'm not a big fan of blunt cut ends on long units so it's a matter of preference, but I just wanted to show you all how I would thin this out a little bit to get the more feathered look. Literally, I'm just going to take a section and just cut down the section and just comb it out. Ooh. And this is what comes out. So you see how the ends are already starting to look a little bit more feathered. You see there's this and this is like blunt. So we're starting to see a slight difference. Um, so overall I would say the pros are the texture. I think Janet did a decent job with the texture on this unit. 
because it does mimic like my natural hair blown out. And I think they did a good job with the parting space and the cap is fine. Now, as far as the cons, I mean, the way it came originally is like the biggest con to me. I just feel like this unit takes a lot of work to make it look like something, whereas I can easily just buy another unit that already comes like this. I review a unit by Free Chest, FL003. I absolutely love that unit. That's a blowout texture and it comes that way. You don't have to do too much manipulation to that. I also reviewed another blowout unit by the Wiggle Collection, which is purchased on wig types. That comes like a blowout texture. You can blow it out more if you choose. That's a gorgeous unit. Yeah, this unit, you can manipulate it to make it like this, but why would you want to do all that work? It may not have came across in the tutorial in the beginning, but this took a lot of work, y'all. And I'm not trying to work that hard with this type of unit when I can easily just purchase it already like this. I'm not trying to do that. Janet, you guys tried with the straight kinky texture and I appreciate the effort, but I would go back to the drawing board on this one. Would I purchase this unit? No, I would not. If you were unfortunate enough to purchase this unit, I hope this video helped you figure out what you can do with it. Otherwise, I would just buy something else and I already referenced the ones that I have that I absolutely love. And you'll see them on the end screen as well. So yeah, y'all, let me know what you think about this unit. How do you feel about the process? How do you feel about my thoughts on the unit? Would you purchase it? Let me know. I have a lot of wigs and I really need to do a wig sale. This would definitely go in the wig sale. It's still a nice unit now. It's just, I just wish I didn't have to do all that work to it. <laughs> the price point though, $27, I mean, okay. But the fruit trust unit was also $27 with less work. So, you know, you choose what you want to deal with. Now I do have this unit in the lookbook that I did for the Janet collection featuring all four styles. Make sure you check out that lookbook because my lookbooks take a lot of time and work and I just love when y'all watch. And usually they're not that long, so watch the whole video. The link to the lookbook will be in the cards above here. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I see all of you guys that have been subscribing and I really appreciate you rocking with me. I'm getting a lot of love from you all and it just warms my heart. I really appreciate it. As any creator knows, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort and yeah it's a lot so thank you also if you want to see the styles that i mentioned earlier you can check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye